My dear Ambazonians, I salute you all. Our revolution suffered great heat last January with the adoption of our leaders, including yours truly, and never hotel in Abuja, Nigeria. This horrific incident had a great impact on each and every one of us and forever changed and embodied our quest for the restoration of our independence as Southern Cameroonians. Though it may take a while for me to completely recover from what I went through and what the other leaders still in captivity are currently going through till date, my resolve for our freedom is unshaken. I can assure you that our leaders, though in captivity, will never betray their people or give up on our quest for full and complete independence. After my release, I vow that I will not attempt to move an inch out of Nigeria until the whereabouts of our leaders was very certain. In addition to them having full access to lawyers and their families. Our leaders now have, now have access to their lawyers and their family members. Whatever I say now can be collaborated by what our leaders have told their family members and their lawyers as to what happened leading up to our arrest. Ambazonians and family members of our detained leaders in the last few months have been drawn into the social media confidential sources and fed, fed with all sorts of conspiracy theories as to what could have possibly happened and what would I played in making it happen. Many people have followed and believed in these theories and some have crucified me in conclusion based on fictions and hypothetical facts. I have been in contact with the lawyers of our detained leaders and some of their family members. I share details of everything I know towards the finding of justice for our leaders. Yes, the conspiracy theories have been brought to my attention too. I have cried over some and I have laughed over some, but ultimately I'm glad that Ambazonians' resolve to freedom is absolute and no matter what, our focus on the goal remains a unifying factor. To many, Sesekwa Yoktabe, Paatasang, Dr. Kimeng, Dr. Fidelis, Dr. Cornelius, Professor Wasson, Panfo, Barrister Shufai, Barrister Yambe, and Dr. Egbe are, leader, are leaders. But these men, over the past many months working together in this struggle, have become fathers and brothers to me. I can relate not only how Ambazonians are feeling, but also how their family members feel because I'm one of them. For months, I did not know where members of our families were, and to be one of the release, the least anyone should have expected, was to know where they are and how they are, and possibly even what really happened. Now that we know where they are, 
I am very relieved because they are better placed to answer these questions to their lawyers and family members who not have access to visit them. Ambazonians will all get answers to all the questions and, what, and whether it is what we expect or not, they will be the answer that should satisfy the questions you, you, all, you are all asking. I'm ashamed by the amount of energy I've been told our adoption took out of the struggle. Because from the moment we realized we may be in for a long haul, we were comforted by how together we stood up and fought for the justice for our leaders in jail when they took Barista Gobala, Mancho BBC, Dr. Fontaine, Penn Terence, Patrick, and many others. Yes, the last time we met together, we were all comforted that our people are out there fighting for justice for us and the others behind bars without relenting. This kept the spirits very high, and Seseko we assured the last day we met together that our people will never relent the fight, not only for our release, but for the freedom of Ambazonia. My shame of what I've been told is that some people I have in mind as the ones who would champion the fight for justice for us and freedom for Ambazonia while we were gone became alligator bearers and Romo peddlers but I'm comforted that the struggle remains stronger than before. I'm comforted that even if I'm attacked and killed, as some have sent messages threatening to do so, my children will grow up in a free Ambazonia, and their right to self-determination will be non-negotiable. That is why I joined this fight to the extent which I never thought twice, leaving my six months old behind and ran into exile to continue the fight. My fellow Ambazonians, we are in a revolution and at the same time trying to defend ourselves from the enemy of our neighboring country, Cameroon, since their president, Paul Bia, declared war on us. Under these circumstances, we, are not ex we, are not, we cannot operate in a predictable and con conventional manner. We have different groups operating different, at different levels under different leaders with all roads leading to Boya. There is bound to be some miscommunications and confusion, but let, let's not let that divide us. We are one people with one purpose and should stay focused on the prize, a God-given right to self-determination. I'm calling for better collaboration among the different groups under the leadership of the IG. We have to be united in our strategy, operations, and purpose. Together we are stronger and unity leads to progress. I'm calling on the international community and all people of goodwill not to turn a blind eye on the atrocities committed on the people of Southern Cameroon by the BI regime and its allies. I'm grateful to God that I'm alive to share my experiences, even though I do not have the strength to listen to my own experiences in the hands of our doctors. I'm making my commitment to the people of Ambazonia that I will continue to provide the legal teams any necessary information I may have that may lead to getting justice for our leaders and also details of our adoption, as I believe will at least be collaborated by testimonies of our leaders and their family members and lawyers. As I gain my strength, I will pick up my activism work gradually to ensure that enough attention that matters is brought to the case of our adopted leaders and the injustice they are going through so that justice can be served and they return home to their families and continue with the struggle to free our homeland. I pray that now that we know where our leaders are, we are all comforted by the fact that they will answer all the questions we have through their lawyers and family members. Hence, we should all focus our energy on the struggle and on getting our leaders and all those behind bars released. Let me take this opportunity to thank you all for your prayers during the trying times of our detention, and I'm certain you continue to pray for our leaders still detained, now confirmed to be in Yaoundé. I'm humbled by the support you have shown me since my release, and I'm sure everyone has been eager to hear from me as to what happened leading up to our arrest. I thank you all for your patience with me, I want to thank especially the family members of our detained leaders who have been extremely supportive to me since my release and also those who have, given, who, were, those who have been suspicious of my release. 
I thank the acting president, Dr. Sako, former VP, Milton Taka, and the IG for the immense support they have shown me during these trying times too. I will end by thanking all those who stayed true to the struggle and although tempted never became party with distractions. I want to thank those friends who remained friends despite all the stories out there about me and my activities leading up to their arrest. I want to thank those who campaigned for our release especially and remind them that the campaigns must step up even more now that we know our leaders will be taking the stance any moment soon. I want to thank our brothers and sisters on Ground Zero who have decided that they will defend our women and children from the barbaric BR regime. I want to thank my family and friends for taking care of my kids while I was taken away. I want to thank God for choosing our generation to be the ones to stand up for this freedom. I promise the Yaoundé regime and all its allies that it is independence from Bazonia or resistance forever. Short live the struggle. Long live Southern Cameroons. Long live the Federal Republic of Ambazonia. Thank you and God bless you.